Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is still trading around 30.3k. We continue to have this, uh, we, will, we continue to be in this particular range here. And um, Bitcoin is still below resistance, yeah, below resistance above support. So it's squeezed into this <laughs> range, really. Um, we have major support still here in this yellow support area all the way down to 28,550. Um, this is the relevant support for the current, what we call wave four, with one more high to come in wave five. That is and remains the primary expectation as long as Bitcoin stays above 28,550. What do we expect more imminently? We do expect that um, we get a little bit lower, we go a little lower here in this wave four before we get one more high in a wave five. Now, bear in mind, we're now at a point where Bitcoin did the bare minimum it needs to do anyway for this wave one. Yeah? For anybody, anybody who's new on this channel might not know that. We've been tracking this impulse uh, or unfolding impulse, potentially still unfolding impulse for a couple of weeks. And the idea was that we completed three waves here, one, two, three, yeah, and that this here is still a wave four. Essentially, Bitcoin so far has done exactly what we wanted. It unfolded in a fairly impulsive way. It did hold our relevant support. And um, a few days ago, it actually made a higher high, which is also what we were looking for primarily. But that high was just not high enough. Um, also structurally, it did not really satisfy the expectations to count as a reliable fifth wave. So one more high is still expected as long as the 28,550 level is holding. Why is that level so important? That level is so important because it is the um, relevant support for a fourth wave. Below that, I cannot justify that this is still a fourth wave. So with one more high to come and we have five waves up, would be amazing. Um, in the alternative wave count though, we have already completed five waves up. I showed you that high of uh, the 6th of July, um, top at 31,500 pretty much. You can count that as a wave five in an alternative count or this swing high of the 23rd of June. They are not very likely wave fives though, because they are a little bit too short. From that point of view, um, I'm still looking for one more high in a wave five. Okay, if we drop below the 50% retracement at 28,550, then I have to assume that the five waves already topped either here or here would need to think about it then um, and that we are already coming down in this wave two after the completion of five waves because five waves will complete the larger degree wave one either here or here and that we are already coming down in a wave two. What would be a count for the wave two? Well, it would just simply be here um, also most likely an ABC structure, but then we would be um, looking here at a wave one, maybe here a wave two, then a wave three down, a wave four and a wave five. So that support area down here will then get relevant between 28,100 and uh, 26,190. So essentially, as explained before, we are in a larger bullish range all the way down to 26,190. Mm, we're either still in a wave four or in the wave two. Both eventually should lead to higher prices. Condition is that the 26,190 level is holding though. Below that level, we have to look for something more bearish and it will increase again the risk for new bear market lows. But first of all, we have more bullish support just below it. But if things start to crack here, then of course we need to look at more bearish scenarios. But until support is broken, we can focus on higher. And more imminently, we have micro resistance between 30,420 and 30,630. Um, I would have to assume that the way four already bottomed, if price can get a sustained break above 30,630, as explained yesterday, price is respecting this resistance area currently very nicely and so far we've really only seen, seen corrective consolidation over the weekend so the expectation is for one more low here in the way four because this is not impulsive to the upside yet it can always become impulsive but at this stage um, yeah it suggests one more low now what I cannot rule out is that it's doing something like that yeah before it comes down we'll, we'll see for me the break above 30,630 would indicate that 
something more bullish is going on or that um, we directly attempt another rally at wave five. Uh, until that happens, I assume we do one more low and could then attempt another rally. That's sort of the situation here at the moment on the chart. Not very exciting, unfortunately. Still, hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.